Hola, como vai amigos? My name is Rotoro and welcome to Brazilian Hero! My attempt to go from the bottom of the playable Brazilian divisions all the way to the top. And the team that I have chosen to make that climb with is Londrina! So who is this club? Well, they've been on a bit of a downward slope as of recently. They had a decent 90s from 94 to 99 up in the second division, and then they had one burst of positivity in 2003, and then Crater dropping down two divisions to the fourth division. But they have managed to make it as of last season, 2014, a third place finish was good enough to get them into the conversation for promotion, which they then took. And they are now back in the third division. It's going to be my job to get them up to the second and then the first. But it's not going to be easy for a number of reasons. Number one, we are bleeding money. This is, as you can see, uh, the state of the finances, and it's not good. Starting in November and then, pfft, oh my goodness, this is going to be... Again, in my other series, especially Mr. Unemployable, I'm used to playing with no money. I mean, that's not... An, uh, an alien situation to me, but this is going to be difficult. I really want to try and climb the ladder. I'm going to have to shed a ton of salary and bring in a lot of money to do it. Now, bringing in the money, of course, will require winning, so, I mean, there's no real easy way around that. The problem, as it is, is going to be how to shed the salary. For a very simple reason. As you can see, this is a not bad lineup to have in your starting... 14, let's say, or game day 14, or 24, I should say. 23, I can count, I swear I can count. I'm trying to get done inside, I don't have the cap space to do it, so there you go. Uh, you know, nobody really over the hill. Natinho is perhaps the only one to be concerned about. Uh, Germano can probably hang on for another couple of years before he's gone, but I mean, all in all, this is a good looking core of people. We have a young goalkeeper in Guillerme who will hopefully turn into a starting goalkeeper. Uh, our goalkeeping depth, though, is rather suspect. Marcelo Rangel is not going to be a long-term solution at depth. And more importantly, look at all these players the previous regime sent out on loan. I could use a Maicon. I could use uh, Lucas Ramon if he wasn't injured. I could certainly use Roberto as my starting goalkeeper, but he had to go and injure his ACL. He tears his ACL in training, I want to say in the first or second friendly, and he's gone for the rest of the year. So... Woohoo! Guillerme, I hope you're ready for the big time, buddy. I'm going to the line of these other loanees. Could I use Lucas Gomez? Yes, I could. Could I grab Zizinho too? Yes, I could. Could I make something out of Arthur? Oh, you better believe I could. But it's, again, it's unfortunate that all these players are out on loan. Their salary, I think, for most of them, we are picking up the salaries. Quick check here. I do believe that is the case. Where, uh, with his, uh, contract here, uh, oh no, they are playing, paying the salary for the duration of the loan. That is good, thank goodness. But that's not the case for everybody. So now we gotta figure out how to get around all those loans, because if you saw very closely there, there is no option to terminate the loan. So, we gotta sit this one out, and he's gone till the end of the year too, so this is gonna be a very, very rough first year with Londrina. Shouldn't be that bad, though. We are expected to do very well in the Paraná State competition. As you, If you're not familiar, Brazil has two competitions. First, the State League, and then the League proper. So in Paraná State, we are expected to hit the semifinal. Top 8 qualify. So 9th and 10th are out of luck, and 11th and 12th are relegated. That's not what we want to have happen. So we'll see if we can stay in the Paraná State Championship. I think we should have no problem staying out of that relegation zone, and I believe this semifinal should be achievable. Where we get into trouble is in the third division. We are expected to avoid relegation. Well, all right. So we got to stay in eighth or better. And I'm not overly confident we can compete with these teams and do it. Looking at our friendlies from the prep for this series, uh, we did okay. Uh, except for this. We dropped a match against the reserves. It took the entire squad. Inter-squad friendly. Dropped a 1-0 decision. Does not fill me with confidence. Other friendlies are okay. It's alright. We could do better. Tactics we're running with for this team. Again, we're a little bit uh, attacker heavy. I mean, look at our bench. Three strikers on the bench. All our attacking mid-options are either heavily injured or simply not there. 
So we're sort of eschewing the wings completely. We're pack in the middle. I would love to try and sign this Jonathan character, but ugh, man. Wouldn't that be nice if we could maybe drop uh, Murilo and pick up uh, Jonathan? That would be very nice. As it is, we're going 4-2-3-1 with a very narrow 4 2 3 packing that midfield as best we can. We have, of course, my 4-4-2 narrow diamond as a standby. I would like to eventually push out wide. But, of course, you can see we have no right side attacking options. So that's that out the window. We do some solid D-mid options, though. So it's not the worst thing in the world to be running this formation. And I can push these attacking mid midfielders up into pure strikers if we need to go chase for a goal. So that's something. I also like how in the state championship, apparently I can field a full-on 12-sub uh, team. So, I mean, can't say no to a starting 23 that way. Thank you very much. All right, so that's the state of the squad. We're going to try playing direct soccer. You can see that right there. All direct, all the time. Go for goal. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. In our opening match of the Paraná State Championship against Maluseli. Hope I'm saying that right. Hope not butchering my Portuguese. If you like that I am a 4-2-2-2. To start with. We'll go with that formation. And in we go. Now, is this a squad that's going to get us to the first division? I doubt it. As soon as I have the capacity to start chopping and changing and really overhauling this team, I will. I've already done it with the, the coaching staff, as I tend to do with every team that I take over. Bring in my people. So we'll see. Ooh, and they compose their undeniable abilities. Their own personal battles. Turn the team's chances of winning. I like it. Well, we are focusing in the middle of the park, so uh, let's hope that happens. We are favorited one to six favorites. Let's see if we can live up to that building. We'd better uh, not hold back. Sure. Oh, I love this guy. Pedrinho Maradona. He's an ankle-breaking assistant coach. I like it. If you can't win on goals, win by attrition. I'm expecting a win. They aren't buying it yet. They don't trust me. I can't blame them. Away we go. Marcelli in what appears to be delightful maroon and white kits. Londrina in a teal and white setup. Space for those crosses. We'll fix that nonsense. Stern talking due to Diego Rook. Guillermo claims that one easily. The 19-year-old is going to be tested repeatedly, I think, in this uh, in this save. Trial by fire for the kid to try to groom him into a ready goalkeeper for this first team. Polinho's cross for Nilsson, the header directly at Pereira. Not a bad start, but really need to do better testing the keeper. Zazinho, Diogo Rook, Zé Rafael, Zazinho, Edmar, Bolinho. Bolinho still with it! Fires high and wide. Not a bad start, not a bad start, asserting our dominance on this game. Lack of goals is slightly worrying. A card shown to Polinho. Yeah, we're starting to get a little bit too card happy here. I'm not I'm not exactly on board with this whole ankle breaking methodology, especially away. If it results in card after card after card. What happened to no blood, no foul? Humar. Polinho. Nitinho, Edmar, goes wide to Sazinho, Rafael, nothing doing but another follow up, goal, Rafael, 1-0 Londrina, great ball from Sazinho, and while the first shot is blocked, the rebound poorly dealt with, and Zerafael is there to beat Luis Camargo to the ball. Ujumar picks up an injury. Not good. 
A bruised head. Yeah. No. Head injuries are no laughing matter. Get him off the pitch. Germano. On you go. Germano, of course, a veteran. Great player. Margo already getting talked to. Zazinho. A little bit wide there, but Pereira takes no chances and grabs the ball anyway. Natinho's corner. Silvio! The defender looking to nod it in near post just over the bar. Natinho. Silvio again near post from his feet. Nothing doing. But we're looking good on set pieces, which I like to see. Our defenders can activate that well. Should do should do as well in the, in the uh, hopefully asserting our dominance. Again, this is an attacking direct team, which does mean that we can be exploited on the counter. João Pedro through Guilherme. That is a goal the youngster will want back. Oh... The shot was on target, the keeper was there, he didn't keep the wickets closed. And it's one all at the half. Ciao Pedro. Yeah, Guillermo, oh. You were there, youngster. Looking like a, look, look like a young Michael Spurning there. Alright, I want wins, please. They're listening keenly. Well, listen. Improve, please. Uh, I have faith that you will score us goals. And he didn't buy it. All right. Let's see. Let's, uh... What do we do here? Running at defense is fine and all. Uh, not hold back when tackling Luis Camargo. Uh, yeah, that's getting us into trouble. Uh, we're going to uh, ease up on attacking the strikers. I feel like that's where we're getting into trouble. Alright, we definitely want to keep you under wraps, though. Alright, try that. Londrina kickoff. Now, again, it's not the worst thing in the world to get an away point. Again, points on the road, never a sure thing. I'll take a point if that's all it comes down to, but when you're one to six favorites, not six to one, one to six. Luis Camargo. Dertinho does well to head that away, and Germano will chase it, but Flavio is there first. Jota Junior. Nothing doing. This Camargo, I don't like him. And I also don't like how apparently we're supposed to go in hard on him, but we, he keeps giving us cards for it. I don't like it. Bolinho. Cerezinho. Zé Rafael, the goal scorer. Did well the second effort and get that ball in. Can he do it well here? Paulinho looking for Nilsson, headed away by Biro. Nitinho. Nilsson! Wow, well wide. Alright. Uh, new striking option, please. Alright, who do we got here? Valmir is a poacher. Patrick is a target man. Bruno Batata is a target man. No, I want Valmir to go out there and poach, please. Alright. I have faith in you, Valmir. He's young. But if you're good enough, you're old enough. Get out there and make it happen, Valmir. We'll also start subbing off some of these carded players to see if we can keep ourselves out of the ref's book. Zé Rafael. Cerzinho. Polinho, just outside the box. Has a shot, but he's offside. Struck an offside player, more accurately. Silvio. Can't head it to Edmar. And Cristovan. Goes back to Jota Junior. Didi, Biro, Parisi. Diogo can't get the ball there. File, Tunis, Cristovam. 
Looks long for Ja Pedro, and he might get him. First time ball, this time Guillerme keeps the wickets closed. And it stays one all. Alright, uh, let's sub out we have Bidia here. Deep lying playmaker, not in my ideal choice. But I need Diego Roque off the pitch. He's just uh, too much of a liability at this point. And uh, we'll bring off Idmar. And we'll bring on... Rafael Gava. Yeah, he's not my ideal attacking mid, but he can play there, and that's really all that matters at this point. Or do we take him off entirely and go with a formational shift? I think I've answered my own question there. I have all these strikers, including one of which who is a target man, so let's go with the full formational switch up, assuming we don't score here. So Rafael. Flicks the header on for Valmir, but Jota Junior will get there. But Rafael gets right back to him. Valmir! That's a good block from Junior. Jota Junior with the key block there. Itinho. Near post, nothing doing. Is it Rafael? Right back to Natinho. Stays on side. It's a cross in. Nothing doing. Germano. Germano. Bidia. Is it Rafael? Poorly cleared. But pretty easy. Makes up for it. Alright. Uh, who's in trouble now? Bidia. Well, I'm not subbing you off, Bidia, so deal with it. Idmar, however, will be. Where's my target man? There you are, Patrick. On you go. What? Ah, oh, dang it. Right, because of the injury sub. That's right. All right. Well. Cross your fingers. Oh, it's a lecture. Three cards in our first game. I think that tells you everything you need to know about how the way this squad will play. Cards upon cards upon cards. Well, despite having all this attacking pressure. Oh, Silvio! Near post, wrong side. Nothing doing there. Great performances, but unfortunately the ball did not find the back of the net nearly enough. We should have won. They know it. Though with a draw, and a lot of draws in this opening day, we remain in fourth. Not probably for today's visit, but biased towards the hosts. Oh, you think? You think? Is that if I have a great game, though? Seven key passes. Exactly what you want from a highly touted loney. Alright, so we get Operario in our next match. They were in first to start the season. We are in fourth in what really should have been a win. Uh, Jumar, Bruce Head, he'll be fine. Edmar, Jumar, Nilsson, Zerzinho, Netinho, Luizao, Bolinho, Guillerme, and Valmir all made their debuts. Yes, indeed. And so begins the quest. To become a Brazilian hero, not the most auspicious of starts, but we will uh, do our best to correct that as we go through the Paraná State Championship. Next time on Brazilian Hero, we will conclude the Paraná State Championship against PSTC. We'll see if we can perhaps get ourselves into a good position to really make some noise in the start of my Brazilian career. That'll be next time on Brazilian Hero. My name is Arturo. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends about these videos, and join us for the live streams. Twitch.tv slash Arturo is where all these episodes are recorded live, where I am being uh, told that if I keep making those long goal calls, stopwatches will be brought out. Can't tell if that's good or a bad thing. But until next time, my name is Arturo, and I'm trying to become a Brazilian hero. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.